Welcome to the American Dream TV Selling Charleston, a city known for its rich history, the architecture, the cuisine, and of course the beaches. Today we're going to be exploring different neighborhoods and learning about the real estate, culture, lifestyle, and community of this historic city. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. Welcome to American Dream TV, Selling Charleston. I'm your host, Atlas Fatala, and today I wanna to share with you why Charleston is the gem of the South. As one of the fastest growing cities in the country, there are so many reasons to fall in love with this city. Yet there's one clear reason why so many people who visit are staying and deciding to move here. And that's because Charleston is the Goldilocks city. Here, walk with me and I'll tell you why. Charleston is more affordable than most major U.S. cities, and the area offers not one, not two, but three main beaches, and we're just a few hours from the mountains in case you want to go hiking. Charleston's really just the perfect combination of everything you could ask for. And today, I'm excited to share with you a new addition to the area that's quickly become a favorite amongst locals and snowbirds alike. We're here at The Wonder, and I'm joined by the founder, Bo Burns. Bo, tell us for the families at home, what is The Wonder and what makes it such a popular, unique spot in Charleston? Sure. So The Wonder is essentially a membership club that's focused on social work and wellness. So it's a place to be able to do all the things that you're typically trying to do in a given day, but in one space. Um, we have the ability to work here, we have the ability to exercise here, and we've got food and dive outlets as well as a pretty active social calendar. Uh, we've also got a, a few different leasable event venues for weddings, corporate functions, you name it, and that's not private, uh, it's for really anybody. And so for somebody who spends the day at The Wonder, what does it look like on a weekday versus a weekend? Weekdays are more work-centric and fitness and wellness driven. If you're coming in um, as early as 6, 7 a.m., you're probably coming in for a morning workout or get work done. Weekends are gonna be more social, like you would probably expect. Um, again, normal work week, uh, but here, being able to do things on the uh, front and back end. Oh, what about, you know, for somebody who's gonna be a newcomer here, trying out the menu, what's one thing they have to try? Uh, probably the Baja fish tacos, because the mahi's local, and we can even let it be a little healthier if you wanna put them in lettuce wraps. But um, pineapple sauce is made in-house, and. Um, there's kind of something for everybody here, so. I love it, so you heard it here. You're coming for the float tank, staying for the fish tacos. <laughs> Thank That's you, right. Bo. You got it. Appreciate your time. Thank uh, you. Next, we're gonna be showing you guys something that you cannot find in downtown Charleston. Here, let's go. Welcome to Patriots Plantation on James Island. I'm gonna take you inside this home on Waxwood Lane, and this is new construction. You'll notice it's different than the narrow Charleston single style homes that you see downtown. And this craftsman style home features a master on the main, high end finishes, and a lovely coral color on the exterior, which just makes the home feel so joyful and inviting. Immediately upon entering, you'll notice you have soaring 20 foot ceiling overhead, which truly make the space feel larger than life. And priced well under a million, you're getting nearly 3,000 square feet to enjoy, full of high end finishes. Peering into the kitchen, you'll notice you have a beautiful quartzite stone countertop. Notice the Frigidaire high-end stainless steel appliances. You've got your gas built-in range, wall oven, ample cabinet space, and a cozy breakfast nook over here, in addition to your formal dining room over there. This is a luxury marble tile, floor to ceiling. Now, take a look at this incredible shower and this large soaking tub. Now, I would buy this home because of everything you're getting inside, 
but especially because of the location. 10 minutes to downtown, 10 minutes to Folly Beach, and just a couple minutes of James Island County Park, and you're getting that quiet subdivision feel where your kids can play and ride their bikes. Thank you all for exploring Charleston with me today. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of American Dream TV, Selling Charleston. Hi, I'm Stephanie Davis with The Boulevard Company, and I am so excited to be part of Selling Charleston with the American Dream TV. This is our first episode, and my favorite part of Charleston is the entrepreneurial spirit. I am excited to introduce you to a couple of entrepreneurs here in town. The first one we're gonna see is Zuma Imports, and the second one, Coastal Expeditions. Come on with us as we visit Zuma Imports first. Hi, I am Zuhai Bulut. And I'm Elise Witt. And we're the co-owners of Zuma. Zuma. We started Zuma. We've been friends for years, since 2008, I think. We met at CrossFit. Yes. And Zoo's from Turkey. And sometime mid, I think it was like 2015, Zoo was going back home and asked me last minute if I wanted to go. So I said, of course. <laughs> and we went, like a week later, right? Yeah. And while we were there, the as a lot of you probably know, the textiles and the rugs and everything are so beautiful. So we wanted to bring some home to see if we could have a little business and start selling some stuff. And we purchased a couple of sticks and then a couple of rugs. And at the airport, Elise decided to start our Instagram account. Uh huh. Everything started there at JFK Airport yep. with eight hour layover. <laughs> so our first, I guess we say buying trip to Turkey. <laughs> um, we both put in a little bit of our own money and bought about 15 rugs. And then like 50 maybe pill pillowcases mm -hmm. and stuff that we we bought it because we liked it. We're like, okay, worst case, we'll, we'll just have keep stuff them. we love. <laughs> <laughs> Best case, we sell it all. Every step we've done it ourselves and learn the business. We didn't plan it. We just it just happened to work Every, out yeah. that way. But I think that's with the friendship it kind of came naturally. So Abby, tell us who you are and how long you've been here with Coastal Expeditions. Yeah, so my name is Abby and I've been working with Coastal Expeditions since August of 2021. So just a little over a year now. And I started as a full-time kayak guide, but I've gotten into our education program, our nonprofit, our foundation, and just all kinds of stuff here, more than just kayaking, for sure. How long has the business been around? So, started in 1992. So this is our 30 year anniversary of just getting people out on the water, putting them in the path of beauty and nature that's out here right at our fingertips and just showing how people can respect it and understand and there's so much to learn and so much importance and protecting this area that we can explore. So Coastal Expeditions is huge on conservation and preservation because that's how we have this beautiful ecosystem that we have right here behind us. We've got to keep it intact, we've got to keep it happy and running and educating people is a main part of preservation and conservation. So people need to know what they're preserving, what they're wanting to conserve, and why it's so important. Um, so how do people get involved? Do you have volunteers, and what do they do as part so of the So our foundation does fund a sea turtle program in Cape Romaine. So we've got people that will volunteer for that. We have a fully funded sea turtle technician, and so she kind of compiles all of these volunteers, and so there are ways that people can get involved with that and just donations. I mean, that's a huge thing. It's like having the money and the ability to be able to do these programs. I mean, sea turtles, there's a lot of science behind that and so much equipment to try to protect those animals and get them to a safer place, so. So this isn't just your average paddle boarding lesson. This no. is gonna be a lot more than just how to stay on the board, which I'm hoping I can do today in this <laughs> weather, but. Um, you definitely can. Awesome, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get changed yeah. and then we'll go out there and give it a shot. Okay, okay. sounds good. Cool, thanks. Thank you for joining me for this first episode of Selling Charleston. 
the American Dream TV. I enjoyed showing you Zuma Imports and the beautiful sights along Shim Creek while we were paddle boarding. I hope this was inspiring to you and I'll see you next time. Welcome to Isle of Palms. Today, we're here at Wild Dunes, a residential and resort community on the northeast end of the island. Wild Dunes is the perfect combination of high-end resort amenities and the laid-back low country lifestyle. In just a few minutes, I'm gonna take you by a listing that I have on the boardwalk. But first, I wanna stop by and show you a few of the resort amenities. So you'll know why Wild Dunes is such a popular destination for both residents and vacationers alike. I'm Amy Rogers, your host of the American Dream. Let's go check it out. I'm here at the Sweetgrass Inn. The Sweetgrass is one of two resort hotels. Other resort amenities include two championship golf courses, outstanding tennis facilities, a world-class spa, miles of biking and walking trails, the wonderful pool that you see here, as well as two oceanfront options, and many uh, restaurant and dining options. Everything from fine dining at the Boardwalk Inn to casual poolside dining. And speaking of casual poolside options, let's go check out one now. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Good, what's your most popular frozen cocktail? Ooh, a Miami Vice. Okay, I'll have one of those. You got Thank it. you. Here we are. Great, thank you so much. That looks amazing. Tastes even better. Cheers. So now you've had a chance to see firsthand why Wild Dunes is such a popular destination for both residents and vacationers. It also doesn't hurt that Wild Dunes is located just a short drive to the historic city of Charleston that, by the way, has been named Travel and Leisure's number one city in the U.S. for 10 years running. But I promised you I was going to show you one of my listings on the boardwalk. Let's head that way now. This stunning home was fully renovated just last year in 2021. It features four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Love the open floor plan. It's perfect for enjoying the island life with family and friends. Love this kitchen. Beautiful waterfall island. All new appliances, including an induction cooktop range. But my favorite bedroom is the primary. Let's go take a look at that now. The master suite is spacious and very beautifully decorated. Love the many windows that provide great natural light in here. You have your own private balcony that overlooks the boardwalk, gives you some great views there. The primary bath features dual vanities, a makeup vanity, and you even have peaks of the ocean while you're in your bathroom. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Wild Dunes today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time on The American Dream. When I got into the real estate business, a good friend and mentor of mine told me, 
We're here to make dreams come true. Today, I wanna show you the heart of Charleston, the downtown peninsula, with historic homes and great Charleston cuisine. So let's go dream. Charleston has always been a top tourist destination. And for decades, Condé Nast has rated Charleston the number one city in the United States, and even once the number one in the world. And I thought about why is that? It's because you vacation where you dream to live. And with Charleston's history and beaches and amazing cuisine and Southern charm, this is where you dream to live. Many of these homes in downtown Charleston were built centuries ago, but there was an earthquake here in 1886, which leveled a lot of it. But new construction methods came out and new styles. But the Charleston single has always held its ground. Narrow fronts, double side porches, you can still see it even in new construction homes today. One of the major factors that has helped Charleston keep its historic charm is the Preservation Society, the first in the United States, started here in 1931. And they still have a strong effect on construction today in homes in this area. This is a picturesque Charleston Waterfront Park. What was left is an unkept place from the shipping industry. The mayor saw it and revitalized it to be a magical place where people come to get engaged, to take their prom pictures, or just to hang out. This is an icon of Charleston. Charleston has always been the Paris of the United States with fashion and culture. Just blocks away from the historic homes is the downtown district. And you can see beautiful art shops, lots of fashion, and my favorite, great cuisine at every corner. Let's head over to Fleet Landing and meet with my good friend, Drew Headland. Drew, thanks so much for meeting us today. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure, Chris. Tell me about this amazing place. Yeah, so Fleet was built back in the early 1900s. It was a military uh, building, uh, actually for naval uh, purposes. We had a lot of uh, ships out here in the harbor that um, the seamen would come through this building here in Charleston proper. So Drew, for our viewers, I really want them to try to understand the Charleston cuisine. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, so Charleston was one of the birthplaces of, you know, really Southern cuisine um, as it's come to be known today. Um, you know, we've got this beautiful Atlantic Ocean out here, which gives us an enormous bounty of, of fin fish and shrimp and oysters. And, you know, that really um, expanded the, you know, just the availability of the products that, we're, that we use here um, on a day-to-day -day basis as chefs. The food here is amazing. I have to test that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a wrap for this episode of Selling Charleston. But if today didn't make your mouth water to move here or make you dream to live here, then maybe the next episode will. I'm Chris Vasello. I'll see you then. Welcome to this episode of American Dream TV. I'm your host, John Bell. And your other host, Erica Zepp. We're here at one of our listings in the highly sought out Ion community in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And then we're gonna shoot on over to John's Island Executive Airport where we're gonna show you some of the really great sights of what makes Charleston, Charleston. folks, here we are in this beautiful oversized modern kitchen. You've got black honed granite. Inside the center, you've got a prep sink. You've got Wolf appliances that are gas. And then don't be fooled. We've actually got tons of storage in this kitchen. Right behind here, we've got Sub-Zero appliances and fridge and freezers. And then um, the hardware that you see me pulling on is local artisan metal, which is absolutely stunning. And then you'll see all of the overhead lighting, which is not necessary. 
but useful. So you'll see all of the doors, all of the windows here, which lets in a ton of natural light. And right behind is gonna be uh, two Mie dishwashers, a farmhouse sink, so when all of your guests leave, you'll be doing the dishes, relaxing, and taking in those beautiful marsh views. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Next, let me take you across the bridge walk to the owner's suite. Here, you could have an office, you could have a couple chairs for coffee, beautiful water feature, super unique. Takes you right into the owner's suite, have some reading to do. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Let's lead, uh, take ourselves into the owner's master bathroom. Laundry, her closet. How amazing is this? All right, y'all, here we are at the Charleston Executive Airport. We are with one of our clients, Ben Gaither, and he's gonna be able to take us around, fly us around, and show you a little bit about what Charleston's all about. Yeah, we're gonna depart in this sweet Cessna 182. We're gonna give you of Kiowa, Seabrook Island, good buzz over the Morris Island Lighthouse. You're gonna see the harbor, mm -hmm. good view of the bridge, come over back down downtown Charleston, and land back here. Perfect. Thank you all for joining us on another episode of American Dream TV. Today we showed you our listing in Mount Pleasant and then we were able to show you a flight around Charleston. We are just blocks away from Charleston's iconic King Street. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at my newest listing. It's a duplex, nine bedrooms, and it's been completely renovated. After that, we're gonna hop on the golf cart and I'm gonna take you guys around the peninsula to show you some of my favorite spots. I'm SL Saad, your host of the American Dream, and welcome to downtown Charleston. This multi-million dollar neighborhood is highly sought after by investors because you can legally Airbnb your property within the lines of what's considered the short-term rental overlay. This gorgeous 3,000 square foot duplex was built in 1890 and was completely taken down to the studs last year. Since the renovation, it has been operating as a highly successful short-term rental and it currently sleeps just under 20 guests. Borough has really come a long way in the last 10 years or so. When I first moved here back in 2013, it was a completely different area and it was not a super safe area. But now there are shops, restaurants, businesses, everything that you can imagine in this area and it has really turned itself around. Some of the most popular restaurants on King Street are in Daco, we just passed The Ordinary back behind us, Vintage, which is a wine bar up here on our right. There's so many awesome places that you can go and they're all within walking distance. In fact, everything on the peninsula is technically within walking distance or golf cart. So we are turning onto Ann Street right now and we are gonna go say hello to some of our friends at Uptown Hospitality's newest concept. It's a restaurant called Share House and it is pretty awesome. So let's go take a look. So I'm sitting here with my friend Kara Graves. She is an owner with Uptown Hospitality Group and we are sitting inside of their latest concept which is called Share House. It is an awesome bar on Ann Street and it's one of their many concepts on the peninsula. Kara, tell me a little bit about how you guys got down here to Charleston and where you are today. So our company was founded about 30 years ago. We have eight places in New York City, Manhattan, 
and we felt like we could take a little bit of home and bring it to Charleston. So we opened a 10,000 square foot sports bar with a rooftop and we had some success early on. Then COVID hit and we were trying to think of a way to bring more people in during the daytime. So we birthed this breakfast lunch sandwich concept called Bodega. Also had a little bit of success, so we felt like let's open a brick and mortar. And between that and then Share House, which is kind of like a nod to the Hamptons and Jersey Shore, we opened this like beachy cantina. They share a kitchen and here we are today. And it is an awesome place. Um, you guys have done such an incredible job. Thank you. Let's go find your business partner. Let's go find Kat. Let's go find her. This is my friend Kat. She is also an owner here with Uptown Hospitality Group. You guys have been so incredibly successful over the last few years, and it's just very impressive to see the positive impact that you've made on the hospitality community downtown. What would you guys attribute some of your success to? I think that we have something to offer everybody, whether it's one of our larger than life sandwiches for breakfast or lunch at Bodega, happy hour on the deck at Share House, or a big rooftop party at Uptown Social. We have something that brings anyone through the door, but what makes them stay and come back is our staff and how wonderful and inviting they are and making everyone feel like family. Well, you guys always have an awesome vibe at all of your stores and I really appreciate you letting me take some of your time today. Of course. Yeah, thanks, Pat. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the short-term rental overlay, a couple of spots on King Street, and meeting my friends at Uptown Hospitality Group. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm your host, S.L. Saad, and this is Selling Charleston. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of the American Dream Selling Charleston. Again, I'm your host, Krista Votaw with Clear Mortgage, and thank you to all those top real estate professionals who showed you your neighborhoods. Catch us next time, and don't forget to follow us at the American Dream TV on social. Better than this. It doesn't get better than this. I went ghost today. I got least to say. I be focused on these dreams like I didn't sleep today. We unite people. We highlight the great stories of cities all across the country that make this the greatest country on the planet. We are blazing a trail, going against the grain of that negative media, having a lot of fun doing this. There's a million restaurants in Nashville, but this one's really cool. Never been in a horse stable in California before. I've been in a lot of real estate, but nothing like this. But look at this. I mean, we've got water, we've got the water culture, we've got the San Diego lifestyle laid back. American Dream is subjective. You get to define it. American Dream TV is a chance for America to hear from small business owners and big dreamers, local leaders and trendsetters, tastemakers and upshakers, the men and women, young and old, and every ethnicity and different perspective of this country we share. We are the American Dream TV, and together we are changing the world of television. But do you know my name? Notorious, infamous, warning man, dangerous. I'm an army, I'm a legion, I'm a ghost, I'm a heathen.